Alright, we're finally doing flying class. Not all heroes wear capes. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. I feel like I would snap a broom in half, though. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust <laughs> of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. Oh, wow. Pretty slow, though. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds. Oh, there we go. What a view. <laughs> oh, wow, this is cool. Hello. Nice day for a flight. He's going so much faster than I am. <laughs> this is rather fun. Maybe different brooms at different speeds? Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Okay, that is... That this is gonna make traveling around the world extremely fun. This game, I couldn't stop playing this. I called in Hooky at work. Whoa, our aquatic uh -oh. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> is that a kraken? Well, it's magic. I'm assuming they have a way to make it so it doesn't crush your balls as you're. Flying. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I need like a booster or something. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Um, sure. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Am I gonna get in trouble, though? The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. We're yeah. Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Uh -oh. Are we now allowed to be flying on school grounds, though? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Uh, we'll finish Bully soon. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit 
claustrophobic for my taste. Okay, How that's very cool. So quickly. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. L2. Oh. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, there's you like sure energy meter there. The there's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That magic is called physics. Architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Oh, uh, we got to go back. Best hurry back. But we don't get points lowered since we uh, technically didn't do what she told us to do. Right, beautiful. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Teacher, you're, you can't tell me that I did good when I was being bad. Come on. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So there is upgrades to the, to the brooms. I almost almost fourteen, not quite. Sometimes the prefects. So other ones may go faster. That was pretty slow. Um, main quest. Legendary Armored Attire. <laughs> also, it's a whole set when you complete that. That's awesome. Field pages. It's going to take a while. That book, that field guys will take forever to finish. Well, one time they did. I wish I could afford my own brain. Mind you, it's so you and my brother's hand-me-downs. And I did ask them to. Do I? Oh, I have two main quests. Let's see what they are. Oh, let's go buy a broom if we can. Let's see. A bee supply shop. That's not what I need. Um, London and Paris. Pippin's potions. Sporting needs. There it is. Let's go buy a broom if I can. It might be expensive, though. We'll see, though. Hogsmeade, here I come. Catherine Haggard is sitting pretty in that Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello there, Albie Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. 
Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh. They're not expensive at all. They're only 600 gold. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, no. No. Uh. That item is of the highest quality. This one has like... Built for stability. Particular Hogwarts house pride. Fiery temperament. That item is of the highest <laughs> quality. Yeah, these are pretty cheap. Uh... <coughs> that item is of the highest quality. I guess I will do the Ravenclaw one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I also like the moon. That Trevor item one. is of the highest quality. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Yes. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, where we have the camera covers text the least. Um, it's the There's text almost everywhere on the screen, and the, where we have it is where text appears the least often. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I would like faster brooms. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Unidentified. I keep getting unidentified stuff. I'll have to take it back to our... We must be getting the room of requirement soon because we keep getting unidentified stuff that needs to be identified in the room of requirement. Yes, I... I... I wonder if um, I can get him to give me money if Sometimes I say, it seems all Hi, I'm Harry Poggers, and this is my favorite <laughs> shop in the Hogsmeade. <laughs> Uh, 
Enter air, uh, tap in the test circle on the wheel. What? Can I equip? Oh, there it is. <coughs> so now I can just at any time jump on our broom. Okay, that's cool. So now I don't have to run on the ground anymore. This is so much better than horses. All right, this is so cool. Damn. <laughs> Won't fly and kill world PVP. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go over here and land. Apparently, we have some sort of trials with our brooms over here. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Hello. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Wow. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I wow. know. Wow. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest Rude. times in this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. What percent are you on? I don't know yet. Because this game's like a 60-hour game, so we're probably pretty very early still. Can you tell me more about these courses? <laughs> Stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Did it. Brilliant. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh god, oh god. I will never Ninja. stop. <laughs> oh, the Nintendo Direct is soon, isn't it? They got few hours what are you guys hoping to see on there I'm hoping for that switch pro took enough copium for it Careful. Brilliant. Definitely gonna slaughter the best time. Good. I've got this. 
I slaughtered that best time. Now we shut your face. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. <laughs> no. Uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my oh, win sure means not. something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Okay, we keep moving the goalposts. I see. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't like her. <laughs> She thinks it's like she can't lose. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. I couldn't have, lo have lost. Must have been a fluke. Let me uh, go turn on that quest and hope we get like a boost or something. Anime, it's fine. <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? True. All right, let me. Hopefully, he'll upgrade my broom Something so I can go higher. Oh, you're back with something to report. I hope. Hello, Mr. Weeks. I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Thank you. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? All right, let's go. Level 14 and a talent point. I will save that for a minute and I want to go. Hopefully, we can learn, uh, get the world of requir room of requirements. I need it. Let's see. The room of requirement. There it is. Uh, meet with meet with Professor uh, Weasley. That one's going to unlock a whole bunch of stuff for us. Uh, what were what they showed in the gameplay demo? This part looks very, very, very cool. Uh, we have to do some um, quests until Mr. Fake comes back. And then we'll get the book from him. All right, here we go. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. I just realized the tapestry moves. The 
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Yeah. If, if someone's gonna die, it's gonna be you first. I shall run bravely away if there's any danger. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Are you sure this isn't a U-Haul? Deke, Professor. Or a, or, or a storage unit? I speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. But where do they go? I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Where I but it reminds me of that one movie, uh, Pooby Gone. Splendid. Now, but where does the poo go? go on those chairs? Um, let me tr let me add that. Oops. Poof. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I have lots of moonstone, actually, from just walking around. We are level 14. Name is that elf. This game's about 50 to 60 hours. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at Lumos. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Um, I wonder, like, this place only appears when someone needs it, but who's going to just, like, have a great need for a couch or a little gold scale or this stool? This looks more like a junk room more than like anything people would need. Hey, I waited for you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned uh, a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Those are secret messages. Hmm. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Wait, you? I'm sorry. Sorry, ma'am, who's in a photo. <laughs> The room was created because they needed to place to store old crap. The room supplied that space. Is it like infinite? Lumos. <laughs> That's creepy. Akio. Um. Lumos. Anything in here? Maybe I can. Let me also. Levioso it. Accio. Um, let's see. Jump. Oh, there's a chest here. Crimson Winter Coat. And it also has better stats in my current gear. Um, 
Let's see what it... No, not that one. Is it... Is it pure cosmetic? Oh, it's right there. I just can't wear it. Oh, I can put that on now. The legendary. I don't like it with that hat, though. That hat looks... Eh. <laughs> it looks so dumb. I look so awkward now. Oh. Vanish! Lumos. I look like a bum. <laughs> shush, chat, shush. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> uh. Um. Okay. Trim. Lumos. Oh, I was going this way. Toilet. Is this still hooked up to the plumbing? Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. How does anyone other than a house self manage to get around it here? Uh, the combat and stuff's not too hard, even on hard mode. You just have to, like, be good at dodging and blocking spells. You can't just take a bunch of hits. You have to, like, make sure you're dodging them. What was that? What was what? Was that a golden stitch? A what? Perhaps you can come to your wits and find out. <laughs> Don't be sassy, sir. Um. Levioso. Lumos. Let me try fire. Incendio. Protego. Incendio. No. Akio. Um. Rebellion. Well, there's obviously some way to get in there. Must have to jump over. Okay, let me and then drag it over here. Akio. Pull it in. Something else I'm missing. Revelio. So I have three. OK. 
can I go over on that side? Possibly. Maybe I need to, like, move this box through here. Possibly. I don't. Okay, move over here. So I have three platforms that I can all float. Levioso. Okay, can you not Levioso? Accio. Levioso. Accio. Not sure. This one is confusing me. I can't figure out how to. Levioso. How do I turn Levioso off? Accio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Yep. Expelliarmus. Okay, so let's try pulling it. Okay, through. There we go. Okay, move over here. Um. <laughs> um. I can't grab it. Akio. <laughs> Well, let me, um... <laughs> Wait, I gotta... I opened the cho... The clo Wait, what? I opened it? I didn't even realize I... Okay. Oops. Oh, I... Yeah, I got it. Revelio. I knew that. Thank you, chat. I was like... Didn't realize I, I did it. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, I have to change this hat. This hat is what's ruined this this outfit. Everything else is okay. The hat's got to go though. No. No, we'll just go no hat for now. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. How does this school have so much crap? There is so much stuff in here. Uh the snitch is right above. Oh, can you catch the snitch? Do you have the Merlin rope drop? No, there's another chance on the 10th to get it. Oh, 
what's a house elf? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Went right there. Do you? Uh, 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 uh. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. <laughs> The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. A room full of pie. A room full of pie. That was a very cool transition. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of this, the desk of Deckard Kane. Use it to reveal the magic properties and identify gear that you've collected. Stay a while and listen. Also, it does all of them You'll in one go. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Well, thank you. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. Hmm. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where I can did. I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. 
you should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Conjuring spell unlocked. So I want to put um, that there and that there for conjuring. So I shall cast Herbology, Gothic Potting Table, Botanical Table, Scientific Potting Table. Oh, wow. Oh, I can switch to any of them. Okay, that's very cool. So it'd be like old school. Uh, you can also change the color. Oh, wow. So you can customize like everything on it. Let's see. What do I like the best? I think I like that one, but I don't like the color, so I'll change it to... Kind of reddish. Kind of fits the room a bit better. Now I can rotate it. Put it in the corner here. And I can make many... I can make more than one. Oh, I know there's a budget. Okay, never mind. I can only have one. And then we can make a potions table. We should probably go next to it. So we have that one, or that one, or that one, or the gothic one. I like the science, but I don't like the color, so I'll change it to... Red like the other one. We'll put that right there in the corner. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hotsmead or Didn't outside he? the castle grounds. Ooh. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I've never heard the word Deke so many times in my life. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. What? We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes. What's the other one? Why would I not want to learn it? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. I have so much Return of it. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I already have enough. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? What?
Oh, wow. And then I can change the size of it? Let's put up a portrait. Okay, space is currently occupied. Conjure wall decorations. Uh, tables. Small scientific table. Let's change it from blue to red again. I like that color more. So I can also increase the size. Oh my God, and make a massive table if I want. Requirement artwork, wall hangings. It bothers me these mirrors don't work. Okay, conjure floor decorations now. Oh, candles. So botanical, electric, gothic, scientific. I like the botanical the best, I think. Do they cast light? Not inside playable area. This is like uh, kind of Simsy. If they ever make a Sims Five, it'll probably be something like this. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, I'll destroy those later because they're ugly. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform a spell to customize it. How much customization can we do on it? Like, you can change the walls? Oh my. Like, everything. Change the color. Okay, how about this thing right here? Oh, the floor even? So eventually I could change every little thing, but we gotta find recipes for it. So let's be a chain stuff without having to like replace it. Change color. Try to 
targeting is a little funky. Um, go ahead and change the size. <laughs> and then change the color. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. What's that? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. Oh, cool. I like Your the eclectic. Space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit ambience, natural and earthy. Dark and mysterious. Ooh. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, hmm. sounds perfect. Oh, wow. So I could change the look of the environment anytime, too. Damn. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. The lights do Indeed. turn on at nighttime. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. How do I hire this contractor? Damn. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Does that mean I can destroy it too? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, I would like the natural earthy one. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah, I like the sun shining. Feel it makes you feel nice. I remember they showed that you can raise animals at some point too. Oh, let's make uh, more of these, please. 15 seconds. What is this? Starfe Stardew Valley? <laughs> oh. I gotta run the potty real fast, guys. We're back in just a minute. This is a very cool, though.
Sorry, I was talking to Kevin. Alrighty then, well. So this place is now super freaking cool. I like the scientific floors. Well, do I? <laughs> do I like it? Kind of like the eclectic floors. How about the walls? It's kind of greenish. I don't like the green. But I could change the color. Oh. Oh, wow. There's just so much stuff you can do with this. Kind of like the red. So, eclectic walls, but with red. Actually, we're we're Ravenclaw. I should probably do blue. I can apply this to all. Oh, that's... So you can change everything at once. That's great. I should not like the red. What was the original color, I wonder? Oh, default. That's it. Scientific walls. Okay, so default color, apply to everything. So you change everything at once, that's great. Let me grab that, oh, nope, not ready yet. Well, I forgot blue is my house color, so I need to need to represent. We'll do default. Okay, you guys need to go away. Poof. Poof. I did I only conjured you because the quest required it. Like this thing, I don't need that. Wait, Deke's eating popcorn? <laughs> Making a big old mess, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, you enjoy your popcorn, buddy. Which is a way to make those shelves, like, organized. Well, let's see, rugs, medium scientific rug. Uh -huh. Now, can I move you a little bit more on there to be in line? that there and let's put the another rug underneath and then we'll put uh, some decorations around don't like those gold herbology trope 
Glimpse of reflecting excellent work in herbology. I get trophies? <laughs> well, that's cool. Scientific lighting. Hate it. Hate that. That looks so ugly. I like this one the best, but we'll make it blue to match our house colors. <laughs> uh, seating. I can tell you about a lot of love in this section of the game. This is very, very cool. Even like the way it summons is awesome. Desk of description. Wall hangings, bunch of mirrors. Oh, so it looks like throughout the whole world we'll find recipes for more things to decorate our base with. Oh wow, there's so many too. So as as you explore, you'll find things to decorate your base with, in addition to just like quest stuff. That's very, very cool. All right, grab my potion. Throw another one. Oh, uh, another room opened up, didn't it? Where was it? Oh, this way. Let's see what's down here. Oh, a little room here. Oh, they have one of each corner is a different style. Very cool. Yeah, we also buy furniture and hogs meat and stuff to wait as a uh, money dump. Okay, my potion should be done. This making potions one at a time thing is very slow. It's like, come on, bro. I wish I could, like, queue up a few back to back or something. But I guess it's where upgrades come in. Uh, there are better ones, so there's like tiers. This is the base tier. So eventually we'll be able to grow more at a time and craft more than one at a time. So this is just the basic level. Ashwinder eggs. Enhances the uh, success of endeavors specifically by relocation of large loot chests on the map for one in-game day. Oh, these are some cool potions. Takes a whole minute to brew, so it reveals all the chests on the map for. Her. I love these like potions. It's very cool. Are you enjoying your popcorn, buddy? Such a deke. Look at that deke. Oh, is there roof options? Oh. Oh my. Oh wow. That's beautiful. If you want like a bunch of plants and stuff, that's beautiful. Cool. 
scientific bookshelf, herbology, gothic. Um, there's so much customization. This is so cool. Another one of those tents. Ten seconds. Yeah, you, like if you like botany, you can go full botany. It seems like the four uh, options kind of correspond to the houses. Like, scientific is Ravenclaw, Gothic is is uh, Slytherin. So I can leave through here. And eventually, they showed in a preview that you get to raise animals in your room of requirement. Revelio. Revelio. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barnby. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas. The Barnby's full attempt to train trolls from the from the for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact in the arts he has if he had succeeded. Oh my God! He's teaching the trolls how to ballet. <laughs> Okay. Me no dance. All right. What is the next um place here? Let's see. Confringo. Ooh, a new spell. And the shadow of the Undercroft. Let's see. Let's travel over there. Thanks for all those likes on TikTok, guys. Appreciate that. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. That that's great. You you do that. Oh, we identified some new stuff. Let's see if any of it's uh, better than what we have. Nope. Increase ancient ma matter fill rate. Ooh. So some of these have traits built in and stuff. All right, let's change the look of our cloak. I do not like this cloak. Let's go back to our regular cloak, I think. We're going to classes and stuff. It makes sense. We'll represent Ravenclaw. Uh, what is your guys' preferred house? Do you guys like do Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor? Over here. What's up, buddy? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Huffle Glad puff. you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, I... let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I doubt that. This way. They knew about your little dueling club. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Is it the big scary skull? Oh. The clock? Yeah, we'll watch Nintendo Direct when it's live. It'll be live in about two hours. About an hour and 45, I think. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play here all the time. With my sister, Anne. 
She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here. Hold on. I'm I'm le I'm leveled up my gear. You gotta give me a minute, sir. Thirty-two. Yes. I actually like that scarf. It's not bad. And then I think we got some hats. <laughs> no. That hat is horrible. Daily. We've never been caught. Lumos. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. What? Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. Forbidden? A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. Can my friend go? Isn't it You're getting explosive? It. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. It's a short... Its range is short and requires you to be close to target. Spell does significant damage and lights objects on fire. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks continue to take damage for a few seconds, which will... Uh, during which time collision will result in incendiary bursts. Okie dokie then. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like the oh, oh, oh. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, long range bolt deals significant damage impact. It means hit with a fire base that tended to burn for a few seconds would make collision salt incendiary burst. Alright, so. Confringo. Nice work. How's it feel? Feels it's a tad hot. Explosive. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Why is it well banned done. though? Seems like a nice spell. Incendio. That incendio seems more dangerous than that one. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, 
We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Chat, I'm going to teach all of you a for, a forbidden curse. Now repeat after me. Damn! The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. <sighs> the Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sure. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I won't tell anyone when or I my chat. Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Chat, you don't know that this is here. Forget you Rebellion. saw this. Shadow Forgetto. There, everyone has forgotten that this room is, exists. No one knows about the undercrop anymore. I'll be right back one second, guys. All right, I'm going to cast a spell only at the subscribers that will make them type Dan Derp. Stupido!
Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Hi. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. His name and is Ominous. Herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. What? Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Uh... Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, he already knew about it. I thought it was fine to tell him that it was <sighs> Some Slytherins are just absolute assholes. Just what the hell? <sighs> Why can't, like, are any Slytherins nice, like, ever? Is being an asshole, like, a requirement? <sighs> Cross wands, spell combination practice. Let's see. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Idris potions. Use them simultaneously to get Dupluso. I don't know. I guess maybe at the shop? We will see. Let's go to Hogmeade. And... Swarm of butterflies. Probably by the recipe at the potion shop vendor. To be this person. So let's go over there. Oh, uh, uh, he told me not to tell ominous. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. All right, I was reading chat. Chat's full of thousands of distractions. Was I supposed Come to tell him that, like, healing just a... potions are a speciality here? Should you need any? Hi. Hmm. Lucky there's lots of auto saves, so. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yeah. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Can bring you up. Nice work. Oops. The go? game crashed to a previous section. I think I've got it. Well done. Oopsie. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> You'll get... Have it. I'm sorry. Bah. Just let... So a triangle has to be skipped dialogue. Okay. You must... Okay, do not tell Ominous. When I head to Fair we are Croft, not I'll going to tell out. Ominous this time. We are not telling Ominous. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. 
You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Hi. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Thanks to the power of YouTube editing, this is my first time playing this section. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. <laughs> Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You're such a dick. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. My father. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. My father. He's, he sounds like a real twerp. All right, let's, uh... Oh, not available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like that changed anything. So maybe it's just like... Nothing, like, seemed to change there. Except I didn't, technically didn't betray my friend. So my honor's intact. Let's travel over here. We'll, we'll see, I don't know. Maybe What's it has an effect. Now? Hello there. I would what like can I do for you today? Recipe for a potion. I need focus potion recipe. A wise decision. Thank you. And Maxima was the other one I needed. Practically invisible. Visibility potion seems cool. Could sell off some stuff I'm not using for money. <laughs> I can afford both recipes. A wise decision. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. And then you had a quest for me? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Sure. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. What non-nefarious reason would someone need invisibility potions for? I'm trying to think, like, what, like, legit reason would someone need an invisibility potion that wasn't for nefarious purposes? Because I'd, like, spying, sneaking around, um... I don't know. Oh, animal observation, maybe. That actually is a sciencey one. 
There's also another side quest right here. Follow the butterflies. Let's see what that one is. Revelio. Uh, butterbeer barrels. These barrels can the popular wizardly drink, butterbeer. It's served both cold and hot and has slight alcoholic content to seem seems the impact to house elves much more than humans. Is that in the basement? I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Kunfringo! Sorry. Lumos. Hi. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. I wonder if you're if you take an invisibility potion if you don't get sunburned. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at eleven years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. She looks like she's 12. I don't know why she means students these days. Revelio. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Okay, I will I keep that in mind. Talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Well, thank you. I still don't have an unlocking spell, do I? After all this time. Yeah, damn. There's just so many places I need to unlock. I will. World map. Looks like the butterfly quest is right next to this travel point, which is convenient. You made a character look like Harry Potter? Kind of. I mean, I wasn't trying nice to. to see you, my but not all friend. people with brown hair and glasses are Harry Potter. Are those these plants? Revelio. Okay. Check it. <gasps> there they are. He wasn't making it up. All right, well, I guess we follow the butterflies. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about uh -oh. these butterflies. But there's that thing, though. Um. Let's redo our combat wheel. I think I will swap out Incendio for the Blast spell. Um, let's do that. Akio. Levioso. Potato. Oh, watch it. Woo! Where'd you go? Expelliarmus. Uh, uh. Ow! Ancient magic! Doug Bog Tongue and Leech Juice. 
Rebellion. He got smited by the gods. Let's see. What are those? Oh, those are mushrooms. Poor mushrooms. Yeah, that's ancient magic. It seems to be very nature-based, most of it. Lumos. Where do the butterflies go? They seem to be traveling this way. Kind of lost them, though. Uh, can I find them again? Maybe they're just somewhere in the circle and I can find them if I just run around. Let's see. Grab all the leech juice. Revelio. Some more moonstone. Well, well. Oh. Look what we have here. Follow the butterflies? So butterflies lead you to treasure. Confringo. Come here. Up. Ow. Whew. <laughs> That's brutal. Now that has a much longer cooldown than Incendio. Well, it's a treasure. I think it's a piece of gear. I wasn't really looking too hard, though. We also had a second quest that had me go somewhere else, but we could go back to Hogs. Oh, wait, let's go back in style. I forgot. Got I had a broom. What's max level? I don't know. You can't enter while mounted. What? Ew. Oh, come on. No fun allowed, apparently. No fun allowed in this zone. It's a no-fly zone, yes. <laughs> Playing this game gets me excited for Elder Scrolls when we have like this level of graphic fidelity in the uh, oh, next Elder tell Scrolls me game. You have an answer for me about the butterflies. Yes, I do. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Just like walking right into the end, turning in a quest after flying on your flying mount. They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. Then you crash, now, yes. I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Follow the butterflies. Level 15. Um, talent points. Let's see. Spells. Uh, Confringo impacts produce fiery bolts that seek nearby enemies. <gasps> That's amazing. That sounds really cool. Why, thank you. Visibly potion um, lasts for a longer period of time. Core. 
Ancient magic throw uh, catches and disarm enemy weapons. Seems like a finisher. I will save my point since apparently talent points are limited. You can't get all the abilities. You have to like specialize in what you want. I know. I like we have to. I have to be cautious about what we spend our points on because you can only have so many. So that means I'll never spend any points, and there's no respect either. I know, no respect is like rude. Oh, that stained glass window is beautiful from the outside. Uh, you get 25 total, so the max level is 30 or 40. If it's 40, you get 35 because you start at level five getting talent points. If it's 30, then you get 25. Actually, where is... Wait, Wind Guardian Leviosa. Choir and use Venomous Tacula, Mandrake, and multiple enemies simultaneously. Map Chamber. Where was the Oh, let's let's turn in some side quests we already finished. Thirty five in total? Okay. That's a good chunk though. Let's see. So if we get thirty five total, there is eight twelve. Um, 28, 38, 48. So, we can't get 10, about 13 of them. So, if I cut out all the dark arts and the stealth, I should be able to get all the others. That's not so bad. We'll be a good wizard. We won't specialize in dark arts. Yeah, we'll be watching the Tin Direct when it comes out in a little bit. Imagine not maxing the dark arts. We're a good wizard. Seems a pleasant enough little place. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with... Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. You're welcome, sir. Uh, Smoke Coalition, thank you for that resub. Resolve, thank you for uh, the follow. Velo, uh, Gento, Pumpkin, um, Cavman, Octolons, thank you for those subs and resubs, guys. Let's see. Uh, now that I got my cringe meal back and do a crap joke, why did Voldemort prefer Twitter over Facebook? Because he doesn't have friends, only followers. Love you, sir. I get it. I do get it, but... Ugh. 
What is this? Lumos. Do I put this on there? Akio. Maybe, and then Lumos. Maybe light it on fire. Oh, it opened it. Lumos. Ooh, what is in here? Hello. Uh, fingerless gloves. Revelio. Is that it? Nothing else in here? All right, little mini, mini like puzzle. It's cool. Maybe we'll, there'll be something else later in that place. Places like. Let me All right, let's go ahead and fly. Yeah. Wait, what is that? Oh, another one that challenges. Um. Akio. Levioso. What? You want me to boom? Confringo. Oh, maybe this. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Let me also. No, Akio. sir. Revelio. Damn it. Wait a minute. There's a big gaping hole down here. Maybe it goes in there. <gasps> and it's glowing green. At, yeah. Okay, we actually did it on... We did it right. So, haha, -ha, chat. You got it wrong. I did it perfectly. That was a big brain play. Ha <laughs> ha! Chat didn't believe. But big brain plays. Sometimes you have to fail to succeed. Mm -hmm. Yep, GG's. All right, let's go do our next main quest because main quest keeps unlocking new features and stuff. Like we still haven't gotten animal raising yet. Are you wearing a flat cap? Uh, we have, we just, we're wearing a hat, but we disabled the look. You can customize the look of all pieces, including making it so you don't ha see your hat. Um, or make one piece of gear look like another. So we just did that to make us look cooler, I think. Can I just land like here and go inside? Can't enter while mounted. I would love to see if this developer did such a good job with this game. I hope they like make other IPs. Can't dismount in here. What?
the map chamber. Let's go to his classroom. Thank you for the follow, Natalins. Revelio. Um. No, we're in the wrong place. Are you here? Okay, guide me, please. Oh, what? Accio. Gotcha, Paige. Trying to be sneaky. I don't know if you get Patronus in this. Let's see. Uh, Flipendo. Descendo. Depulso. Glacius. Arresto Memento. Crucio. Uh, Av Avada Cadavera. And. Imperio. So, looks like no um, Patronus. Which means they probably don't have Dementors then. I was hoping to see you. Hello. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, oh. by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Rebellion. Percival Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Can we ask Peeves? To think it was beneath us all this time. Star Wars. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Where's the professor? If only you were here to see this.
Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Say trials again. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. No, I do not. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. Is it the or You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well traveled as you think. As <laughs> your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Chat, shh. Chat, keep it quiet. No one say anything about what you saw, okay? They don't know that you're watching. She'd be like, oh, was I not supposed to make a social media post about where the tower was? Oh, sorry. I just invited all our friends. My bad. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Right. That's okay. Sure. I'll be right back. One minute, guys. Got to run to the bathroom real fast. I drank too much tea.
<laughs> All righty then. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's um head to this tower and see what exactly these trials are. Uh, thank you very much, um, Alessora, for the brand new sub. Uh, Great Pit, uh, Smoke Coalition, and Vel uh, Velo. Thank you for the subs, yes. I wonder why a broom has a stamina meter. That's a little weird. Like, how does a broom have stamina? A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Hmm. There's a flu thing over here. I wonder Mark if that. I'm safe to explore in there. Collector's cave. And grab that later. You got the broom? I missed it. Uh, yeah, we took a flying class, then we got a broom right after. Wasn't super exciting, but it's very cool that we can fly now. Makes traveling so much easier. It's like, it's like no clipping a Skyrim horse. That tower looks very ruined. It looks like a dungeon. Make sure to grab that. Um, land. Some flies. All right, let's see. Over here. What's up? We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Well, this might be the well I mean... Okay, let's do the... I think it's this one? Yes. Are you not using yours? Quickly now. Reaching a minute, tech light to cast uh, Petri Petri Petrificus Totalis, which will permanently incapacitate the weaker enemy, simply damage a stronger one. Oh. I didn't know that there were, like, um, whatchamacallit? Stealth kills. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalis. Petrificus Totalis. <laughs> well done. Okay, well, stealth seems like it's incredibly overpowered. Especially if they don't seem to notice. Ramrock said so. <laughs> okay. Revelio. Um. Why do you make her look like you? Because I'm not a teenager anymore. So you haven't had mushroom stew. They didn't have a overweight bald make. character, so. Oh well. I don't see. What 
What happens if I stun the one? Someone there. How nice of you to stop by. Oh. Okay. Not so bad. Search the tower directly from Ranrock. And surrounding area, look for anything to do with names. To do what you uh, find here could be the key what to names? Goblin Kind finally and taking its here? rightful place in the world, Ranrock. What do you think of the game so far? Are you a Harry Potter fan? Not really. But the game is really fun so far. I watched the movies one time like 10 years ago. Uh oh. Watch it. Uh oh. I Finish him. Whoa, God. Okay. A little ambush. Loose and brown pamlet scarf. Let's see. Um, gear. Scarf, it is a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, it looks nice, too. How about the cloak? Got a cloak slot, too. Nope, not an upgrade. So it will stay there. They should have programmed Fig to say, Fig around and find out. Yes, that would have been great. Search the tower, so this Looks place. like we found the entrance. It's locked. How did you open that? Can you teach me to unlock spell, please? An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can... Revelio. Can we learn it now? Uh, I've seen a lot of these streams that look so much sharper and clearer. Yeah, I stream at a very high bit rate and quality level. I have a whole PC dedicated just to streaming games. Hmm. I wonder who this is. Like With ropes like that, it could be anyone. Looks kind of like Gandalf, honestly. Uh, if you press the R1 button, um, it'll throw objects to um, enemies around you. Have been enchanted for if there's throwable objects. Never seen an enchantment. Rebellious. Welcome to Sandakar's Tower. Oh, hello. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sandakar's Tower? I did. Professor Bakar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. 
I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Oh! Did he a just... reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs near the entry. How do you? Um, I want that spell. Okay, are you enjoying this game? It's have to press that, but is it worth it? It's a really long and great. It's one of the best RPGs I've played in a long time. It's very good. The devs did a fantastic job of just like filling this game to the brim with stuff to explore and do. Rebellion. The first trial. Let's find out what it is. He apparated. Is that what that's called when they go? I will. I, I'm excited I've to seen see this before more games from this developer the because this developer section. just absolutely you can tell they spent a very long time on this Revelio. game I would love to see them like do a Lord of the Rings game or maybe a Star Wars game or like the different IPs or genres if they can do it with this one Revelio. Uh, there's a lot of talking in this game, and you kind of have to go through a lot of it to get to the, like, where you can just, like, play and play and play, but so far the story's been good and entertaining. The characters have been interesting. Impressive. That must have done something. Hmm. Best have a look around. Solar protection goggles, a.k.a. sunglasses? Wait, what? Is that a different dimension? Uh, it's like a pocket dimension. The spell effects are very cool. I would say these developers could probably even do like a, a game set in the Witcher universe where you play as a sorceress from that universe. Keep the like feel of the, that world. Why is this moving? That's so cool. I see I see lots of statues. That means battle. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Oh. So Revelio. Some money. Uh, the chest over there. Some money there. Complete Percival Rec Room's trial. The 
these are never uh -oh. a welcome sight. Oh god. I don't know what to expect this time. Ancient magic! Expelliarmus! Well, I kicked his butt. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I don't know if I've gotten good or the game's just easy. Revenge. Or both. These look familiar. They definitely came up with a fun combat system for if any like any magic based games come out in the future, they'll probably borrow from Rebellion. the combat system of this game. Accio. I'm a bit over gear and over leveled for this area, which is weird because I haven't really been trying to do either of those things. Chest. Celtic Glister Scarf. Revelio. Revelio. We're on hard difficulty, so it doesn't get any 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 harder than what I have. But I'd say it's a good balance. Like if you mess up your counters and stuff, you will die in this difficulty. What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Well, what's this way first? Oh, chest. Black leather gloves. Rebellion. And let's try the other side as well. I don't see anything different on this side. Is it different? I think it is. The room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Are you sure? I don't think that that's entirely accurate. More statues. Expelliarmus. Got him. Not bad. Um, how do you throw objects? When you're fighting, you'll see R1 above an object. If you press it, it'll fling it at a nearby enemy. Okay, um, now. I didn't this game as well done, it was. You definitely look like you're sus. Very sus. Uh, we'll be watching the uh, Nintendo Direct, which is in about 20 minutes. Is 
there. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, the room changed again. And there's a giant portal. Okay. Something on that side. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Oh, well, the thing goes away in that way. Okay. Akio. change on both sides of the archway well let me um something must be different try moving this first like that and then go through the portal and move that along to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Uh, Scholar's Robe. Revelio. Um, now, probably need to change the room back to get to that, probably. So let's go through one more time. Other way. I think I need that bridge again. So that's it. Ah. The archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. And then here. Uh, Dead Space was a whole remake. And it was very good, too. This year is off to a really good start of, like, having some big, big hitters I'll for... Get used to these floors. That are competing for like game of the year. Well, let's see um, what hat we can wear. That hat is hideous. So we'll turn it off. Some of these clothes are like, ooh. I don't think I will. What if we remaster Last of Us again to have a remake of the remaster of a remake? Levioso, confringo. Expelliarmus. Accio. Confringo. Accio. All right, let me try. So if that doesn't work, we'll try uh, a little incendio. Incendio. Ow. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Incendio. Incendio. Good for you. 
Ow, God, from behind. Now you threw me off. All right, kill him. I don't think that some of these might work. Gotcha. Woo. All right, not too bad. It, it looks like Dark Souls Light. It's much more agile than Dark Souls, but it's not quite as brutal. And there's lots of saving and checkpoints and stuff, but it's pretty snappy. But yeah, you can't let yourself get smacked around all the time or else you'll get wrecked. Did I miss anything? No. Oh. Incendio. Oh. Akio. Paul. They lifted this combat from the Batman Arkham series. Revelio. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that. Revelio is. That it? Accio. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Okie dokie. Also, I need to be checking what uh, other objectives I should be doing for a part of our main quest. We have tasks to do. Focus potion and maxima potion. Using simultaneously. Pop balloons. Require and use venomous tentacula. Use a mandrake. I don't have either of those. Oh, more healing potions. Rebellio. Wait a minute, why are you giving me healing potions? That probably means a boss fight. Some sort of fight coming up. All right, looks like a chest. Five more potions, oh God. They're about to throw a bunch of enemies at me or something. This could be bad. Let's assume it's statues. Um, let's do Expelliarmus and the fire one, it's a good mix of CC and damage. Yep. Oh. Ow! Woo! 
Watch it. Expelliarmus. Woo! Not bad. Oh god, what is that? Oh shit! Multiple health bar! Ancient magic. Jeez. Ow. Magic. Okay, run, 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 run. What a relief. Not bad. That was the first boss. Not too bad. Pretty pretty low key. But that was a fun little fight. I liked it. Rebellion. Nothing too crazy. Getting your feet wet. First trial. They said there's lots of trials. So they'll probably get progressively harder, I'd assume. Another pensive. A chest with loot. Silver eye spectacles. Um, let's see what this is. If I was the villain, I would secretly fill that with acid, and then the hero would kill themselves on accident, trying to get the pensive. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. 
Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Well, I see who the villain Every is. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Oh, yep. Sit. Definitely Sit, now. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. It's always a defense teacher. I see where her motivation is, too. Mm, she just wants to... Another memory. ...to help her father's pain. Now to find a way out of there. Revelio. And she wants to break all the rules to do it. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Map chamber. Yep, defense teacher is always sus. It's like, hmm. Hmm. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Uh, yes? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. 
Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. That's a keeper. Ooh, fall. Ooh. Fall is pretty. Uh, do... Rebellion. Apple, Apple, Appleby arrows. Any mail? Oh God, a lot of mail. Presser sharp. We need to learn uh, De Pluso, the banishing charm, useful for pushing objects and or adversaries away. Complete the required task and meet me in my classroom. It's time to learn Glacius, the freezing spell. Vision way to cool down a heated situation. First, I'll need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Come and see me. I've said something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Um, come and see me if you can. Return from my rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Please meet me in the seventh foot quarter as soon as you can. I have an idea where you can focus your studies. Away from prying eyes and distractions. I shall explain when I see you. I'd like to teach you uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Um, it can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few pregnant tasks, see me after class. Good, good day to you. I require assistance with delivery and thought you might be interested. Please meet me at T J Pippin's Potions. I'd like to earn a few coins. I've not forgotten about our library adventure. How did you face? How'd you fare? If you keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense of Dark Arts classroom. No discreet place there, Sebastian. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Do I have any better gear? Let's see. Nope. Any better scarves? Nope. Gloves. Nothing better. And how about face? Nope. All right, let's see. Let's change our appearance. Mm. It's kind of getting cold out, so I want something warmer. I do like that. Find that one. And then let's change our neckwear. No, no. That doesn't really go with that. Let's go for something a little more dapper. Change it to eh, well, don't have any better looks, really. We'll try the red jacket for a while, even though it kind of looks like a smoker's jacket, which is weird. Nerdy, and then something that goes. Mm, I don't like that. Not great. Oh, Ravenclaw actually matches that pretty well. And then, how about a hat? Any of the hats look great yet. Why, thank you. Eh, I mean, I don't hate it. And then the gloves. 
I don't hate it. We'll try that for a while. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. Oh, just... Oh, it's locked, of course. Rebellio. Somebody's in there. Behind the wall. Oh, Nintendo Direct is in a few minutes. I forgot about that. We'll switch over to that in just a second. Look like Hugh Hefner? <laughs> no. I do not. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. No, I don't like Hugh Hefner. Off on another adventure, are we? 